everyone. How's things going? Um, so we're up to our new block um, for the fortnight. And I'm sure you've watched Rachel's video already. And you'll know that the theme is a winter bird. And it for the winter theme and a Christmas bird for the Christmas theme. So I'm assuming a lot of people will probably go for the Christmas robin. Because that's probably what springs to mind when you think of a Christmas bird. Um, I'm going to do something just a little bit different and then just so I don't forget I'm just getting my paper out the um, the feature theme for this month is the belly band so uh, Rach has probably explained that as well but your belly band can run down a page like I could use that as a belly band and slip something under or I could run it across the page um, so yes it is a junk journal feature that we're turning into a fabric um, journal of stitchery feature so I'm not going to do my belly band with this block my belly band is going to go with the next theme but what I wanted to show you is I have this lovely fabric let me just open it out I have this really pretty fabric okay I got this at my favorite sewing basket and it's got lovely birds on it and I felt like the birds were very Christmassy I don't know what type of birds they are some here um, and so what I've done is I cut some of the fabric out and I'll show you and I've fussy cut out this will curl up a bit until I stitch it down properly I fussy cut out some birds and the pretty pretty flowers and it's it's lovely colors which I thought would go really well with Christmas so my block is going to have um, this piece of bird fabric running on it like this. I have to do it on that angle so I can fit it in. And then what my plan is, is to, um, like that will, that will go down properly once I angle it properly. Um, what my plan is, is I'm going to canthus stitch down the background fabrics. Um, this is actually a piece of upholstery fabric that I've cut, I've cut up that I got from my sister Rachel. And that's going to run down the side. And then I'm going to um, stitch this down just using an overcast stitch around the outside. And then what I want to do is I want to do some um, embroidery, like quite heavy embroidery, like quite a lot where the colours are. Do it with threads. So that will be quite heavily embroidered. And then I'll probably do some more decoration in some of the blank spots. So that's going to be my block for this month. Uh, this fortnight not month so what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and stitch these down I will use what will I use I think sorry I'm just getting things next to me I think I might just go for the old um, crochet cotton which I use all the time and I'm just going to count the stitch this down so you don't need to watch me do that we all know how to do that oh the other thing I thought I might do is I used half of this on this page and I thought I might use up the other half as well and pop that actually let me see how that looks I've got to make sure I like the look of it if I was to stitch that on that side and then this would I, that, I think that might look quite nice yeah I think I'll stitch that down I was also I was liking this old Suffolk puff this is a Debbie Suffolk puff I might do something with it, buttons, other stitching, not sure yet. I'll play around with that. That'll be next week's task. So just for this week, all I'm going to do, you've seen my idea for the birds I'm going to use from the fabric. All I'm going to do is count the stitch down my pieces of fabric here. Lovely Liberty there and some pretty Christmassy colours. And then I'm not going to count the stitch this. I'm just going to overcast stitch that on the end. So I'll just... Sorry. Oh, I've got had a cough. Excuse me. <laughs> um, I've got had a cough this week. It's still, I, when I was sick a few weeks ago, I actually did have COVID. Um, I don't know if I told you that or not. Um, I only got it mildly lucky, lucky for me. Actually, I think I did tell you that because one poor lady um, said that her uncle had passed away, which is really sad. Um but that, for me, that was three weeks ago, um, and it was a sore throat and a heavy cold. But it's kind of still just lingering a little bit with still a cold, little bit of a cough. Um, although it's not stopping me from playing hockey, because I did that tonight. All right, I'm going to pop off the video. I'm going to canter stitch this down, and then I'll come back. See you soon. Bye. Okay, so all my fabrics are stitched down. 
um, and what I need to do now is to stitch this piece of fabric along the edge here so that's that's what my plan is so I'll just line it up and pin it down it's quite a thick fabric because it is an upholstery fabric And then all I'm planning on doing is just a little overcast stitch along the edge in a thinner, thinner white cotton. Okay, so let's take that out of the way already because it's going to get in the way. So just a little overcast stitch. Okay, going along the edge keeping them quite close together now this I have cut this from fabric so it can fray but if I do little stitches along the edge I'm hoping that it um, kind of keeps it intact okay just tiny little stitches Okay, nice and quick. I'm going to go up this side and then I will come down the other side. All right, now you don't need to watch me doing all of this, so I'm going to pause again and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I stitched down my piece of fabric down the side and also the half doily. Um, so I'm just going to show you how I would um, position my fabric, I need to make sure it actually um, fits onto the page. And I just want to angle it. And then I've got these little, little applique pins, little clover applique pins. And I'm going to pin it in place. But I've got to play around with it to get the angle right because I'm trying trying to get the whole thing in place angle it a bit more over this way and up a bit because it's I've um, kind of fussy cut it out it's um, I've got to make sure it all it lines up straight okay so there's my first pin little one on there and this one here another one down here it is kind of running off my page but I'll just trim that that's fine Now, I do have more applique pins. I have to find them. I've run out. Hang on, have I run out of my pin cushion? Yep. I need to find some more. Anyway. Um, just let me... Just playing around with it to make sure it's straight. I feel like I need to straighten that up a little bit better. So 
Maybe it needs to slide over a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to find more applique pins and pin it down even better. I'll be back in a sec. I'll turn my camera off while I find them and I'll be back. All right, so that was a fail. I don't know what I've done with my applique pins. I'm going to have to have a good look for them. They'll be somewhere. I know they're in a, another pin cushion. I just don't know where I've put the pin cushion. So I've just pinned it down with my other big pins. And I'm just going to show you very quickly how I would do a little overcast stitch to stitch this down in place. Um, I won't do the whole lot on camera because it will take, take a while to get down. Um, I'm just using my same white cotton that I used for the edge of the uh, sort of um, upholstery fabric and just little little stitches around the edge on the creamy the creamy part that I um, that I fussy cut the picture out of. So um, I will go the whole way around and then next week um, what I'll be doing is I'll be coming back and showing you how I am doing my embroidery on my piece of um, fabric with the birds and then I'll finish off with some extra embellishing. So I haven't put anything on the edge. You could put like a little fray stop um, if you want, want to. I don't have any fray stop at the moment. Um, so it will fray a little bit but because I'm going to do quite a lot of embro embroidery on it um, it should be held down nicely and eventually it should pop pop really well with the embroidery it will stand out from the background better than what it is right now okay so it does look a bit messy but like I said by the time that embroidery comes on you, you won't even notice the little stitches very well making sure that you get points get the little points down so this is the point of the flower Okay, so I'll do this same technique the whole way around and then I will come back and show you that next week and then the embroidery and the embellishing. All right, so that's all I'm going to do for today. Um, I need to pop the video up. It's getting late and I'm sure you're waiting for it. Hopefully um, Rachel's was a bit longer than mine tonight. But anyway, um, you should have some sort of ideas floating around in your head I'm sure we're going to see some beautiful red robins and things like that and I will see you next week where I will continue to work on this block so thanks for watching and I'll see you soon bye